Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This is the Ghost Music Box. As you can see, it's um, it's very sensitive. The box is about 50 years old, 50, 60 years old. So it's got some history to the box. I think it's um, 1959 or something, or 1960s it's made. I'm not too sure. Tenant. Um, so it's got it's a quality box, made out of a quality box. As you can see inside, I'll show you. Uh, takes a 9 volt battery which will, I, I will supply I'll turn it on now you've got to give it at least a minute for it to calibrate the room give it a minute to calibrate it works not in the dark very good in the dark ideal for for um, um, a locked off area. The idea of the power line on the right is if you place it in an area you're not familiar with, at least you can find it in the dark. Give it at least a minute, that's 30 seconds. Now that should be about calibrated now. So when you, if anything goes near it or over the top of it, it will start to play a tune. So it's, it's picked me up already. So there's a minute. Stop that. Move away from it. All right. As I move my hand over the top. Plays a tune. Now I'll zoom out a little bit. I'll move it up a bit. Give you an idea of it's about there maybe. Now I'll place my hand over the top again, just above the camera lens. So it's pretty sensitive. Move that down. Move in a bit, so I'll show you the inside. Turn it off for a minute. Now as you can see, it's got two dials inside. I, rec I recommend you leave the settings as they are. I wouldn't play around with them because it took me some, it takes me um, a little bit of time to set it up. Once you play around with it, it's very sensitive, so you could, could get yourself in a bit of trouble if you start playing around with a, with a screwdriver. But I will show you anyway. Now the one on the right is a sensitivity switch. It's almost on full, so I won't play around with it. And the one on the on the left is the time delay. That's how long the music will play for. I think it plays for about 19 seconds at the moment, so it's probably ideal to leave that as it is. So if you turn it clockwise, it will increase it. Anti-clockwise will decrease them. Okay? So that's that. You can see the inside. Look around the box. It's got, an on, on, it's got an on off switch underneath. On off switch underneath there, as you can see. Turn it off in the dark. A bit darker. Give you some sort of idea. When you have it in a locked off area. I don't know if you can see it in complete dark. It's only got the camera on the infrared, so I'll get this one in it. Turn it off. in complete darkness now. Alright, I don't know if it's been about a minute, let's try it now. Complete darkness, my hand goes, see my hand? Yeah. See, still picks, picks up movement. Move it up a bit. Right, my hand, see my hand, right there, complete darkness. So it's, it doesn't matter if it's a daytime or nighttime. I say this one thing: it works better not under direct, direct bright lights. So I recommend you do not place it under bright lights. 
Put the light back on there. Thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to send me in a question.